Hello people, welcome back to the second episode of the night. I am going to do four female perfumes from the miniatures, official miniatures, small depth samples. And these perfumes actually are not mine, it's my best friend. So while I was having them, I thought like, let's review them, do short takes on each. Basically it will perhaps help some of the sisters out there or our friends, community members, you know, our even brothers who want to pick up a nice perfume. These perfumes are actually available all over Bangladesh as full bottles and I'll let you know as far as I, my memory serves, I'll tell you the price. And uh, longevity, I cannot tell that much because I got to test only a couple of days. But I'll let you know my initial impression, okay? Based on my nose, not looking at fragrant again. So four per perfumes, they're all miniatures. Once again, my best friend bottles. And I have uh, seen them in Bangladesh. So the price, as far as I remember, I'll tell you. So first one I'm going to show you here, it's a, uh, if you guys know, like a female, per, like male perfume, very popular one from House of Versace, that is a uh, Dylan Blue. Dylan Blue is a top seller right now. It really does well. It is really doing well in Bangladesh condition worldwide. It's very popular among youngsters. So this perfume is absolute, uh, like a top seller, even it beats nowadays Versace Purim in terms of sales. So I really like it because it is a good performer. So it is basically Ambrox and kind of like in the line of Sauvage, but it's more interesting. It's more youthful, it has that uh, aquatic sort of note, like it's blue, marine accord sort of. So it's fresh, kind of sexy, very beast mode performer with Ambroxan. So we have today the female counterpart of it from the miniature, that is Dylan Blue, Poor Femme. So the reason for me to review this from a small bottle, I really wanted to do a full on review on full bottle. I want to show you the sprayer, but unfortunately I'll tell you the reason why I couldn't show. This is the box, Dylan Blue. Uh, it's EDP concentration, 5 ml and it's Versace, does the miniature and the bottle looks like that. I used it a few days, okay? So that's the bottle. It, it actually comes in this sort of shape. If you buy the bigger bottle, it will have a very nice looking bottle. You can Google it, I'll put the picture on cover photo. So it has this small sort of like a blueberry or blackberry sort of color. Very nice, it has that beautiful blue colored glass bottle and it's called Dylan Blue for women. So this perfume, um, if you talk about Dylan Blue, how good is it, it's really, beautiful it's not the same like dylan blue for men it has a little bit different in terms of smell i find it to be very fruity the reason i did not do a full-on review because the packaging it comes in uh, the big full bottle they airtight the plastic so once you open it you have to really tear it up and there's no way you can put it back so the shopkeepers will not take that risk so they'll run losses so i did not want to blind buy this perfume i just got a sample i saw it i'm like okay let me try it and i really like it it's very fruity fresh same summary long long lasting you know i i know this one it lasts so very good perfume for young uh, women you can use it casually work every day summer day spring so it's very fruity very fresh blue uh, kind of like uh, some exotic feel comes from it you know yeah it's very exotic it's very very fruity it's very fruity after it's raspberry or something in it it's very fruity i think it's a vanilla base there so I also believe this has Ambroxan, which will make you last very long time. So it's a great fragrance with a reasonable budget. I think big bottle will cost you about $55, $60. Great pricing. So Dylan Blue is the first one for women. Dylan Blue, poor femme. Second one I'm going to show you is a house I always wanted to review. I never reviewed anything from this house. It's called Escada. Escada has great fragrances for women's side. They have a lot of fresh Miami sort of uh, themed, like, you know, watery, like rosy floral fruits it's all the favorite notes that i love but escada there's a fragrance called magnetism uh, i think all days reviewers they hyped it to the max and it's now discontinued i wanted to try it but today we have as escada born in paradise this is very popular you will see this box everywhere if you go to escada you'll see this box everywhere in the counters and it's available so this is about about what four ml but i have the bottle i got it as a gift from one of my brothers he gave it like half like this and uh, this one he didn't charge me for it so this bottle looks really lovely if you see it in the full bottle shape with the sprayer looks very beautiful kind of green kind of like laguna like you know it's watery and it does actually the name born in paradise and the lady you see very beautiful colorful this is exactly the kind of perfume this is this perfume no this is not in my hand here i think this fragrance i did not put because it's very strong this fragrance is very very strong wait let me check from the bottle oops shoot the cap just flew okay okay here <laughs> here's the perfume okay first of all the perfume is very sweet very very uh, exotic i was telling you about exotic 
Oh, I got some on my hand. Yeah, I get kind of like a suntan lotion, but not the coconutty, coconut heavy. It has a coconutty sort of vibe, which gives the tropical side, but it has a lot of fruit baskets sort of fill up top. And you're gonna get some fresh floral. You know, imagine like, you know, in the Hawaii, that, that sort of feel. This is very uh, holiday-like. You have gone away from the city, you wanna spend about two weeks. Uh, you're gonna just forget about the city life. This is so good. This is so fruity and fresh. Longevity on this, I remember from Perfume World, I tried it on the paper. It was good, not bad, but not a beast mode perfume. It's about, gives you about five hours max longevity. And projection would be like for one hour and a half. For a fresh perfume, it's not bad. And price is very, very reasonable. This one, you can score about $35, $40 for a big bottle like that, I think. Uh, if you look it for discounters. But if you pay retail, it's going to be like around $70, $75. So this is uh, Born in Paradise by Escada for women. Okay. So now, we're going to go to the next one. The next one, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce this one. This is uh, from House of uh, Nina Ricci. I reviewed Nina Ricci before. Nina Ricci has, uh, for women's perfume, they have quite uh, affordable budget perfumes. These perfumes are very budget friendly. You can get these around 50, 55 bucks for 100 ml. Great bargain price, okay? So this one, next one is called, I believe, Rose Ecstasy or Rose Ecstasy. I don't know, I don't know, I really do not know. I'm sorry about that, but this is the perfume and it's called uh, Nina Ricci Rose Ecstasy. Ecstas. Um, this is uh, EDT Sensuel, okay? Um, EDT concentration basically. And here is the packaging, very pink kind. Also another miniature. This is five mil. So this is a very cute little bottle. It actually looks very nice. This bottle looks really nice. The original one has some additional parts to the bottle. I'll put a picture. But this bottle looks really beautiful. So this perfume, it's really gorgeous, I tell you. I smelled it, I'm like, damn, this is very, very fruity. Okay, I can smell it. It's very strong, it's very fruity. It's like blackberry, blueberry, something of that berry or raspberry, something of a fruity punch. It's like even fruitier than the escada that I just showed you. And it's really yummy. It's almost like a gourmand like that's like a mango sort of a feel. It's really something like, a, something if you put it on yourself, it's gonna be kind of like a rose afterwards. I think it has rose in it, like afterwards with a little bit of vanilla musk. But I think mostly what you can get on up top is a lot of fruits, okay? So this perfume is really pretty. It's good for dating, I believe, for summer, spring. Winter time, I don't think it will have the push. But nonetheless, for $50 or less, great perfume. So this is Rose Ecstas. Ecstasy, Ecstas. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes, you know, I am kind of lazy. I should check these things before. Last one is my favorite. And if you guys know me for some time, you guys know will know why I like it. This is old school right here. This house is called Givenchy. And here... In this, they just give you a very beautiful looking miniature bottle. The fragrance, I think, is called Organza. Organza? I'm not quite sure. Um, this EDP concentration and Givenchy is such an underrated house, I tell you. They have a lot of, uh, for men's side, women's side, Gen Kenzo Jungle, uh, Lalafant, um, they have Kenzo Night, they have Kenzo Purom, they have Kenzo Lopar Kenzo for men's side, Kenzo Night. You have, uh, like, not not, what am I saying, Kenzo? I'm not talking about Kenzo. Kenzo and Givenchy always mix it up, sorry. Givenchy has a lot of fragrances like Jarius, <laughs> Jarius Rouge, and Givenchy has like, uh, uh, what's the other one? Dahlia, Dahlia Noir. Great perfumes. You know, they have some perfumes so good, but people mostly lean towards Chanel and Dior, so they overlook this house. Try Givenchy counter. You'll be surprised pleasantly. So the fragrance bottle, let me show you here. It comes in this kind of packaging. Look at the juice color. It just blows my mind. It's so beautiful. It's orange with very dark sort of red, kind of a passionate color. And if I show you the bottle, it's 5ml also, but this one is really the prettiest among all. It has this nice cap, orange juice. If you turn it, it has some, uh, it's like almost like a women's uh, figure. Really beautiful. Uh, and it's EDP concentration. So this one I have on my hand. This smells strong. This smells old school. What I mean by old school, this is kind of like, if you know, back in the time, Charlie, you know, those perfumes, uh, kind of like 90s, 80s era. This smells like that era. I don't know which year it was released, but it smells like a lot of orange up top. Uh, kind of like, a, if you know Karl Lagerfeld um, classic, I think there's a classic or something, the orange juice, Karl Lagerfeld classic, I think, yeah. That has that orangey vibe. Even if you talk about Jovan Musk, has that nice orange up top, then Musk followed by some leather, maybe some tobacco. This is really 
on different level. This is gonna last you for ages. You just need one spray, but do not spray this on your white clothing. It's gonna leave a mark. But what I like about this perfume is it's really heavy sort of a perfume like, um, how can I say, this is more of, more of upper class party going, you know, like not freshy, not like a uh, casual you throw around. If you spray two, three times, you will be choking, right? So this perfume right here, it's very up class, very uh, classy. And it's very, it smells like orange all the way. It's orange and musk and perhaps there's a tobacco in there somewhere there, but maybe a touch of floral somewhere there. So this fragrance is really beautiful, but very daring. So if you actually want to try something different than what you have, try the Organza one. Organza one, <laughs> Organza one. So that's the review for now. I will finish it here. Hopefully you enjoyed the, enjoyed the episode. Do let me know um, uh, what else comparison you want to see. Um, any other fragrance review you want to see, I'll do it for you. See you soon. Bye-bye.